Her smile. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Anatomy of Marriage, Marriage Mornings. I'm your host, Melanie Studley. Good morning, my name is Seth Studley and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and today is day 82 of the Infinity Marriage Morning Challenge. And today's title, title is, is Do You Believe the Best? And it's brought to you by... The Ultimate Intimacy app. That's your line. It's Sorry, blue. it's brought to you by the Ultimate Intimacy app. Go to ultimateintimacy.com to increase your intimacy with your spouse, and it's mm -hmm. awesome. We invite you to do marriage mornings with us. We talk about topics um, like a little five, ten minute marriage morning thing every single day, and so do them with us. Talk to your partner about the things that we talk about. Ask the questions that we're asking. Have these conversations together. It will help your marriage and your relationships get better. Yes, it will. And follow us on Facebook Live and Instagram Live. We do it every single day, even if we're sick or anything. So. And if you're new here, welcome. We have over 100 episodes about shame, sexual struggle, uh, all sorts of things, identity, everything like that, and more. So please check those out. But this is our marriage morning. It's our shorter mm -hmm. format. And every marriage morning, we do four things. That's right. We pray together. We share a past gratitude, we share a future hope, and then a goal for the day. So I'm going to pray today. Thank you, God, Creator, for all of your blessings. Thank you for uh, providing us clarity. Thank you for even giving us the heart to ask for clarity and understanding with all the stuff that we do. Thank you for so our <laughs> thank you so much for our blessings. Thank you for our children. I pray that you be with me as I drive a million miles today and be with Melanie. Help her to feel better, please. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, good morning, Kenny. Uh, I am thankful for our talk yesterday. Last night, we had like a two-hour conversation almost to midnight, and it wasn't an argument whatsoever. We talked about a lot of stuff, and it was really cool and enlightening, and I'm excited for that. So thank you for having a heart to bring that, and because um, I necessar not necessarily would have done that. So thank you. Um, you're welcome. I actually was going to say thank you that you share your thoughts and feelings with me and that we do talk that way. Like I think it's so different from... What the? I mean, it's so different from what we used to do, but I think it's also different from lots and lots of people. And I think if they could see that that was an option in their marriage, they would want that because we just talk about the things that matter the most to us, and we really share our hearts to one another. And it, it's really wonderful. Why do you got to make that's a face? That's surprising because last night you told me I was emotionally unavailable. Well, that's the truth. Uh, <laughs> that'll be an episode. Um, yes, it will. Future hope. I hope I feel better because I do not feel good right now. And I hope that you drive safely to almost Portland and back. Almost Portland. That's the name of the town. Almost Portland. <laughs> okay, future hope. Uh, be present. I don't know. I have a lot of driving to do. And I, I hope that you feel better. And I hope the kids who are on spring break are fun. Yeah. Uh, my goal is to get a bunch of work done. That's always my goal. Right. But it's my definite yeah. goal today. My goal is to pray way harder than we have been like we talked about last night like you're sweating like an anime <laughs> character yeah. like I ate some bad you know, typhoon Sushi. Or something. Yeah. that's funny okay. all right well today's episode topic is do you believe the best Scary. and the idea for that um came from just you know our thoughts are so super important and what we believe shapes the things that we do it shapes mm. our behavior and then that shapes our entire life so if we are walking around in our relationships assuming that well, he's never going to change or of course he would do that because he's dumb or, you know, like thinking these thoughts mm -hmm. in your head, but maybe you're not saying them out loud. Mm -hmm. um, that really impacts the way you communicate with your partner, the way you feel about them, how you treat them and your right. whole entire marriage. And that completely comes from family of origin, like in my own thing. It was hard to trust people and not because I'd like gotten screwed over royally or anything like that, but it was a bunch of. Uh, second guessing my own decisions and we talked about this last night yeah. it's like and we talked about it in an episode before when I was thankful and I told Melanie like I am thankful that when I come to you and apologize you're literally like okay and mm -hmm. it's not some like BS later where you're holding it over my head yeah. and like this or that and it was really hard for me to believe for a really long time yeah. Really? You're sorry? Yeah, like, you actually didn't believe the best of me. He was believing I didn't, yeah, exactly. that I was still like holding on to that anger and that mm -hmm. um and that one like I would eventually turn around and throw it back at him. Right. And it so it, that even that, that's like a seed of doubt and that just grows. It grows into mm -hmm. bitterness, it grows into resentment and I think how it played out in our marriage with just with that example is like you would think I was still harboring something against you. And then 
uh, when it, when something else would happen, like maybe a week later or two weeks later, it was like you're boiling. You were always like simmering because、right. you were holding on to the worst and just like letting it stew and stew and stew.、Mm-hmm. Not intentionally. You didn't、mm-hmm. know you're doing that. Um, and I didn't mean to like make this about you, but that. But what would happen is,、sure、is that it would、um, it would like boil over super super fast. Yeah. And so I, it's just this is just such an important topic because、um, often we don't think about what we believe about our partner, and it can be so life giving the things we believe, but、mm-hmm. also bring death the things、right. that we believe. Aaron says what we focus on expands,、that's、both right, positive、sister. and negative, and that's jeez.、Right. That is, so if I'm focusing on like oh well she really doesn't mean that what's up Raya good morning what's up Lily morning. if if I am focusing on what I believe about Melanie guess what I'm gonna find it and one of my other favorite things like we usually find what, what we're we looking look for. for yeah if I'm looking for the about cussed if、oh. I'm looking for the crappy situations or this I always get screwed over here or this is wrong here this is wrong here sure this thing can be wrong yeah but if I'm always looking for it it's just going to you'll find attract、it. more stuff I was thinking、mm-hmm. about that this morning with our own kids and if I'm looking for the positive in things sorry I didn't brush my teeth yet oh I wasn't、uh, thinking anything the positive in things、uh, <laughs> <laughs> then I'll find it and it attracts and it's not just some like you know、uh, Utopia thing, like oh naive, whatever. It's like literally, if I'm focusing on okay, I'm only going to eat clean. I'm going to eat clean.、Mm-hmm. Then guess what? My re- reticular activating system is going to look for、uh, clean food. For like oh, if I'm on the go today, go to I don't know、mm-hmm. Chipotle rather than McDonald's, McDonald's or something、mm-hmm. like that. So I'm looking for it. So if I decide and go, I am going to look in the emotionally positive stuff. Always、mm-hmm. about my wife and trust and give this, then that's going to come out and it's going to. What are you laughing at? I was smiling、oh. at people saying hi. No, I totally、hi. believe that. And the imagery that came to my mind is like going out into the grass in the morning. I don't know why this came to my head, but like it, it's right now. It's spring and it's beautiful. I love springtime. I love blossoms and flowers and buds. And when I go into the grass to look, don't look at the words. You're getting distracted. But if I go out in the grass in the morning, like with our kids.、Mm-hmm. Um, I can either choose to see that the grass is dewy from you know the night, and it was going to get my shoes wet, and I can think about oh it's cold, I need a hoodie, I'm、uh, and the grass, and it's this. I can think about all the bad things,、mm-hmm. or I can look for all of the good things, right?、Mm-hmm. I can look for the beautiful buds and the sunrise and the dew makes light in the trees、mm-hmm. and all of those things. And we need to be doing that in our relationships. We need to be focusing on, even if it's something. If, even if we have to start at a place where it's small, it's a little positive thing.、Mm-hmm. It's going. We if we can continue to have that positive mindset and believe the best of our partner, that can expand out into more、um, positive, good things.、Mm-hmm. You know, and change the way our relationship unfolds. And、um, one of the things too, as I wanted people to ask one another,、um, like, what do you actually believe about your partner or about yourself? That is, is it bringing、mm-hmm. life or is it bringing death? Right? Do you believe your partner is going to screw you over, or、right. that they that they did mean to hurt you? I think oftentimes what we believe about our partner, like the the person is most close to us, other than our own selves, is a reflection of sometimes what we believe in mm-hmm. us. You mm-hmm. know, and Ed Milet talks about, okay, you have to be consistent and、uh, learn to trust yourself. Like we build self confidence by doing what we say、mm-hmm. we're going to do. And I've just been kind of willy nilly feeling based all the time, right? So if I believe super good things about myself, that's going to transfer over to what I believe about you and、yes. other people. The other、so. questions to ask yourself and your partner is: Do I give my partner the patience that I want to receive?、Mm. How do I believe the best of my partner? Like, how can I believe the best of my partner, the best of myself? So have these conversations with each other, and because、um, it can really transform the way you see one another, the way you speak to one another.、Mm-hmm. And so, yes, that is this marriage morning, and we wanted to take a minute to tell you thank you for joining us. Please rate, review, and share, share, share the podcast. Yeah, we are pouring our life into this work, and we want it to get out to more people. So, if you have a minute to share it today, please do that as like a high five favor to us, and、um, and we would really, really appreciate it. Please check out the Ultimate Intimacy app. Go to、yeah. ultimateintimacy.com. It's amazing. It has started us having deeper conversations than we could have ever thought we would have had. Right. It、um, changes our sexy Saturdays. We do the the、neat. app on Friday and then sexy Saturday. And it's well, just, we're trying to do it more. It's、yeah. just we haven't gotten around. We haven't figured out the process yet. But so please check it out. It's、mm-hmm. awesome. And thank you for joining us today. Send up a little prayer for Seth's driving. He's got to drive a long way. And my and for Melanie's head cold. Glands.、Hey、my glands. Thanks for、Pray、talking for about my glands. Too. Sorry, we didn't get All to、right. it. <laughs> All right, love you guys. Bye. Have a great day. Bye.